everybody, and welcome back to another episode of GTA San Andreas. Uh, we're just gonna head out into the open world and see what we can get ourselves into today. Anything good to steal while we're, uh... Hmm, that looks fairly decent. Let's jack this guy. No, let's... Change my mind. Want this car. Want this one. Give me your car. No, I don't want it anymore. Don't want it. It's all dented. Right, so, last in the last episode, recap time. We made ourselves up with that Diaz fella. Did a couple of missions for him and... Now we're going to be going back to see Mr. Cortez to see just what it is that he has in store for us for this magnificent episode of uh, Vice City. Where I promise we will not drive like an utter moron and we will actually do a good job with our car. It's close enough. Cortez, what do you have in store for us today? I yes, was pleased. I would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible. Acquire the piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. That sounds like absolute shenanigans. And I, I think that really is going to become the watchword for this series, isn't it? Shenanigans. Ah, uh, nice try, lamppost, but we're we're on to your game. We see your tricks. Well, there goes the good driving as we splat straight into a wall and a lamppost and almost got the hat trick with the fire hydrant. Now, the question is, where are we going? Oh, that's right. The map doesn't work properly. So... I'm going to assume that we have to go over this bridge as the dot is indeed on the other side of the map which must mean that we have unlocked the second island and I completely forgot about these different coloured loading screens that we... Oh god. The driving never gets better. And I'm sure that's just fantastic news because it means there's plenty of rage to be had in this episode. Oh ye gods, what on earth is this all about? Convoy, halt. Civilian, move away from the tank. Spast, 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 spast. Oh my good god in hell, that has backfired dead. Requiescat in pace. Uh. Okay, well, that escalated quickly. Alright, how are we going to law? these people out of this tank. I think we might fail a few times at this. Yeah, we we get the gist. We get the gist of what you, you want us to do, Mr. Cortez. You've left us a very nice car again. Right, take two. And this is possibly where speed up will come into play so I will see you when we arrive at our destination all right we're back on the second part of the city and we're gonna have another go at trying to lure these military people out of this tank 
I'm open to suggestions if anybody has any. That seems as good as any. Okay, so all I literally had to do then was park myself in front of him. Okay. The tank doesn't handle lampposts too well. Oh my goodness gracious. You, Jesus, these cops are crazy. What? They have death wishes. They literally all have death wishes. Are you kidding me? You seriously can't... For fuck's sake. Paul, you goofed. You done goofed. And you were doing so well. You done goofed. That was surprisingly easy. Wait for it. Wait for it. Any second now. Literally any second now. Okay, so the one time I wait for the bloody phone call to happen, and it doesn't happen. Thanks a lot, GTA. You just made me look like an absolute twaddler. I've used that word again. I have no idea what it means, but I like the sound of it, so we're going to continue to use it. The one time that I actively wait for the phone call, and they decide, you know what, we're out of, we're out of currency on our current top-up. Because this, I'm sure, predates phone contracts, so you're just going to have to make do with looking stupid. We're going to go in here and we're going to just very quickly tool up. Uh, we're going to have us a... Yes, please. Who doesn't want a chainsaw in their lives? Oh, you you cheap bastard. Didn't like him. He was he was hanging around my newly acquired second-hand car, so I figured we'd give him the chop. I'd spin like an absolute monkey, and uh, do you know what? We we're, we're not going to save after every mission. We're going to get out of that habit. We're just going to go straight and see what Diaz wants. And hopefully we're going to arrive in one piece and not... Loading screen. Caught me off guard again. And not die in the process because we drove like an absolute bell end, like we did in the last video. No, we're going to continue to drive like an absolute bell end and probably not make it there at all. Sorry. Actually, really not, but... Sorry again, actually really not, but, you know, it's courtesy to apologise when you, uh... Um... Who is doing the shooting, and why? 
Maybe I should have tooled up a little bit more heavily. Shut up! That's so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Steal the fastest boat. Well, I don't know about the fastest boat, but we're certainly going to steal the fastest car available to us. Horrendous understeer. Right. Fastest boat. Uh, yep. Back to this way. So I'm guessing then that this means we've already unlocked island number two in Vice City. The sort of downtowny bit, at least. They get me every time. I'm so not used to loading screens anymore. So does this mean we can now progress over to here outside of missions? I assume we can. That was sort of, uh, you know what, we're all the way here, however, look out, hooker. We're going to go all the way back up to the other end of the island just to get our hands on some sort of firearm. Because I have a bad feeling that trying to do this mission with just a chainsaw could be problematic. I don't know for certain, but it just, it seems like it's a good idea to always carry a firing weapon on this game. Can I even set a waypoint? Or does this predate waypoints? I think this predates waypoints. So if we just keep going straight, then we should find ourselves where we need to be it's disobeying all the road laws, I know, but who gives a frick? So, so sorry. Oh dear. Look at that for a parking job. Give me a gun. Out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. Um... Well, we can, have, we can buy body armour, but we don't need to. I like the name of that gun. Okay, so... Guns are officially unavailable to us in this part of the world. So, chainsaw it is then. That fills me with so much confidence. So, back to the mission we must go, E-I-E-I-E-I-O. Luckily we're in a fast car and this will take no time at all. Told you it'd take no time at all. Can I pick this weapon up? Yes! Can I do something other than... Oh my goodness gracious me. Where is it? No, 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 my god. Well, that went well. Excuse me, I'm being called. All right, we're back. And uh, here's the Lord Hellion's high quality analysis of what just happened. Basically, I failed like an absolute twat. So <clears throat> as we're back on our first island, not the case at all. Um, Only time will tell, baby. Go away, man. I think what we're going to do first is we are going to go and buy ourselves something that we can actually shoot with rather than uh, just turn up and try and massacre everybody with a chainsaw. So 
Let's go back over to island number one and get something a little bit better than a chainsaw to kill people with. So actually, as we're here, let's get ourselves... Well, let's get ourselves a nice car, point number one, if it's still there when we uh, come out. And let's get ourselves... Uh... Yeah, why not? Machete. Machete it. And the nice car is still there. Good. Right. Gun shop. Well, I did that right in front of a cop, and the cop gave no shits whatsoever. Where is the gun shop we require? Why are you going round in circles, you prick? Just to get to the gun store, where we can have go number four. Not technically true, we're only on number three, but it's the only thing I can think of that would rhyme. Oh, she got so lucky. She almost got clotheslined by a door. Don't actually know if those physics are that in-depth in this game, but that would have been amazing anyway. Right. Where is... Oh, my God. I've gone the wrong way. Well, we're going to have to do a flipping U-turn now, aren't we? And go all the way back down to the bottom. And since we're here, let's replace this nice blue car that's slightly bashed up with one that's slightly less bashed up albeit identical in every other way. Let's run over the lady in pink and the bloke at the bus stop and drive into a wall because that's how we play this game. Nail that jump. Oh my god, I'm gonna land upside down. Land on the wheels. <laughs> that was fortunate. I was expecting that to be so much better than it was, and that turned into such a massive anticlimax because we landed upside down. Well done, Paul. You are just so good at this game, nobody else even comes close. Except maybe every other player in the world that plays Vice City. Whoa. Swerving Irvin. Wrong road. That's just great. Going the wrong bloody way again. Alright, second hand dealership time. Let's change wheels yet again. Oh, now we're going to get a wanted level. Of course. Why not? Gun me. Yes. Yes. We have an excess of money anyway. Can I buy the shotgun? Yeah. Oh, behave. All right. That's half of our money that we've... Uh, oh, my God. That's a cop. Get in. Go. Audi. I would have been so pissed if I just lost all of those guns because I got arrested. <sighs> There's just no need to... Did I just witness that? He ran her over and then I ran her over because he ran her over. Let's try and get there without getting another star to our wanted level and prepare for an imminent loading screen about now. Absolutely on point with that estimation. We need to go this way. Kill those two. Get a wanted level for it. Where was the cop? Newsflash, darling. I probably am. Oh my god. I haven't... Gee! No! No, 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 no! Ah! <laughs> oh no! <sighs> 
What have you just done? You just spent five grand on weapons, then forgot to activate the mission, and then, because you were an absolute spazzler, you got arrested and lost all the guns. You're a flipping genius! Well, that's curtailed my plans, if I'm honest. Is there a gun round here somewhere that I can, uh... Do you get, do you get shotguns if you steal police cars? Is that a thing? I have five shots. Could be pushing it a bit. Alright, we need to go back and see Diaz, don't we? Because this isn't GTA 5 and the missions don't checkpoint, so... Return to Diaz, she said. Might as well run lights and sirens, since we have that power. Don't quite know how we made it round that corner without having some kind of disastrous crash, but I'll take it. I will take that any day of the week if it's a sign of good driving. You just get flattened. You're taking too long to move. You jumped into the car because you're so clever. Oh, she's okay. She's super lady. The fastest boat. Black Pearl. The fastest ship in the Caribbean. Right, let's get back to the mission. Okay, well, we're not quite going to get back to the mission because I just spazzed and killed a cop en route. And now they're all descending. So, we, we really have two options, don't we? Either we charge through like this and just hope for a miracle oh my god he's gonna be he's gonna be right there oh I shot his head off I shot his head off I shot his head off I shot him in the head and shot his head off. How do I get in this? Wait, do I have to... Okay, listen. Oh! My god, that is... I have seven health. I have a problem. How do I steal this boat? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on! Wait! <laughs> he just walked up and twatted me in the back of the head with a hammer! Who was he? He wasn't a cop! He wasn't... <laughs> I, 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 I have no words. I'm done. Done. Just done.